In this video, we are going to show you how to connect the Trio G3 speaker by iTron only means in an active mode driven by a preamp only. My name is Armin Kraus and here at Avantgarde Acoustic, I'm responsible for customer support. And the first step we are going to show you is how to connect the iTron amplifier, so the active module, by an XLR cable. So this cable is coming from a preamp and is going into this socket, which is marked the balance signal input. As you can see in the iTron version, the, there's a relatively small complexity of cablings in our other videos where we also show um, how to connect with the switching unit between passive and active mode. You will see much more cable here. Here it's relatively simple. This is the output towards the driver and this is the input from the on-off sensor at the front of the speaker. Next step is to connect the space horns. And I've prepared a daisy chain cable here, also in XLR norm, which is then plugged here. If we follow this cable, we arrive here at the space horns. In this case, we have a set of four, so I can also show you how they are interconnected. So the cable I just showed you is arriving here in the input of the space horn. And on top, we have another cable that is then daisy chaining to the top one. Important, here we have a little switch at the input section of the space horn, which needs to go down to the down position so that not the WBT speaker terminals, but the um, XLR terminals are activated. And the second cable is now going here through the cable ducts to the upper space horn. And so from here, you could also daisy chain to the next, to the next, to the next. Close. An important note on the input level of the space horns. When they are shipped from the factory, they come with a standard level selected here for the input gain that is adapted to the speaker input, because we can assume that in many cases, the speaker input is, will be used. But if you use it in active mode with iTron only at the trio and switch it here to the XLR level, we can assume that the XLR signal level is much lower, at least lower as the speaker level. So when this is connected, don't be worried if at the first uh, tones you try to get out here are much lower than you expected, just correct it here by adding I would say probably between six and 12 decibels of extra level. So from the factory settings of minus nine for a single drive space horn, you may be able to go up to some plus three decibels. So a gap of 12 decibels to make a matching level to the XLR input of the Trio iTron.